In this short video, I'm going to be covering the WordPress Customizer. The WordPress Customizer is exactly what it sounds like. This area allows you to customize your website. And I should note that this is often where free and paid themes can be drastically different in value, as free WordPress themes tend to have limited customizations, while paid or premium themes seem to have much more customization options. So let's dive into the customizer area and go through it in both a free version and a premium theme version for GeneratePress. So here we are in the customizer area. If you need to, you can go back here, Appearance Customizer, just to get familiar with it. And now we're going to see there's all these options on the left side. And we can see we can actually make customizations right here on the screen as well, if you would like. Now. Like I mentioned in the previous video, it's great if you can set up a starter site or a demo site and then start building off of that and making customizations on it. But here I'm just going to go through what the customizer has involved in it. So there's the site identity, and that's what we saw earlier where I changed the site title and site tag, which is going to be displayed at the top. And then if we go back here, we have the layout, and we can choose a container, the width of the container, if it's going to be boxed or not, header. There's also going to be the primary navigation. There's so many different options within a good theme like this. And you can choose how your sidebar is displayed, the blog sidebar. You can choose how the footer is displayed down here at the bottom. And if we go back again, we can go to colors and you can choose the color displays for your site and your theme here. Typography, you can choose what type of font you're going to use for your typography for the website you can change different sizes heading text can be different than paragraphs and each heading size can be different if you don't understand what i'm saying with headings i'm going to get into that in the next video which is going to cover posts and here there's general gives you some options in here menu widgets home page settings so these are pretty basic ones right here Widgets, it's going to be talking about what's on the right sidebar here, where you see search, recent comments. You can see over here. So let's just say I wanted to delete where it says meta down there. I can probably click on it right here and go from there to delete it. Or I can click right here and click remove. And now it's not even there. I tried to scroll down, but there's nothing there. The footer actually came up, and the meta is completely gone here. Now to make that change fully go in effect, I'll hit publish. And now that customization has been changed. So let's just say if I want to change the typography, I can go into where it says typography here. And then I'll go to where it says heading one. I assume this is going to be a heading one for home. And I can change the size of it and see it went from 300 here, which isn't as bold or thick, to 600, which is more thick, to 900, which is even more thick. And you can choose if you want it to all be capitalized uppercase, lowercase, so you can choose how you want it to be displayed. And I'm just going to go back and put it as 300 as it was. I'll just hit publish just in case to keep those changes saved. And then I'll go back up here. If you want to exit out of the customizer, you can simply just click this X up here. And we are back in the dashboard area. I'm just going to X out of that. I'm actually going to delete these two themes here since I'm not using them for Astra and Ocean WP. And I'm going to stick with this theme for Generate Press. So now I'm going to go into how to actually use a premium theme. And I'll actually show you how to upload one of these demo templates built into the theme itself that a premium theme is going to have. So let's look into that now. So in this case, I already have a version for the plugin that goes with this theme for the premium version for Generate Press. And I'm just going to go to where it says plugins and add new. And I'm going to install that from here. I'll choose plugin, go to downloads, and I'll install it now. It's going to unpack it, and I'm going to activate the plugin. And now it is activated. So if I wanted to, there's going to be more options available on these premium ones like this. So we can go right down to where it says configure for GP, which means generate press premium. And right here, it's going to give us all different options that are only available within or they are available within the premium version here i'm just going to click all hit activate and then click apply 
and now we have all of these options activated within this premium theme here so the next thing that I'm going to do right here is go over to updates and I'm going to paste in and blur out my license key that I got from the actual premium dashboard within the purchase of the theme and then I'm going to just save it and now it says license activated so if I go over to the site library here we can see a bunch of different options as these load right here and it's going to take a moment but you can see there's lots of different options in this site li library that could be like default templates for your website so if you wanted to put something together like an e-commerce store you might want to do something like this or right here this is like an amazon prime type store here here's another great one if you're selling something like clothes online i think this one called marketer i believe i can't even find where it is right now right here is one of the best ones for making a blog site it's a great clean look to the blog site and i really like that i like this one as well there's so many on here that i like so let's just say i wanted to install this one i'll go to details let's take a look at the preview first and you can see what it looks like on desktop which we're on right now tablet and everything on here is going to be responsive so it will fit on all devices including a smartphone here and then if it looks good we can go to details here i'm going to click i understand it's going to ask me to back up the site that we have right now even though it's a base brand new site go to import options and then it's going to start importing the content. I'm just going to import the demo content, which is going to come with some other plugins here. And it's going to take a second to do that. You can see it's importing each one and installing these plugins. Then once that's done, we're going to have a new site. And we actually have the site looking like this still right now. And in a second, we're going to have a whole new site. So there's the last one installed. Now it's saying that it's importing the content still and that does take a moment and now it says all done I'm just gonna go and X out of the backup that it made there and now we can click view our site but I want to show you right here this is what our site looked like before we installed this theme and made the changes if we refresh it now we have a whole new site here and I'll go back to the customization area let's just go over to customizer here and on this page we're going to have some options that we can really make some changes to the site with so now when it loads you can see that you can change things throughout the site itself here very easily by using this area and you can really start to edit the site and see the changes live on the site so let's just say if you wanted to do something as change your primary navigation here on your site you can do so by see it says navigation alignment right you can do it center you can do it left you can see it move up here at the top you can choose if your navigation is contained so see it brings it in right here or full and it kicks the logo out and the cart out or the bag out right there I'm going to do contained navigation with I'm going to do contained as well and maybe I'll do alignment left alignment right is kind of more normal or natural and center there's not a huge difference there between center and right and navigation drop down if you have a drop down you could hover over it there's all these options let's just hit publish here to save those you can change other things like having sticky navigation here change typography colors background images here as well so there's so many different options here built into it now that we've activated generate press here on the premium side so you can have way more customizations and that's what i was talking about when comparing a free theme a normal free theme doesn't even have as many as generate press as free theme does but now when you go to a premium it takes things to a whole nother level with a premium theme and i highly recommend you consider doing that so i'm going to x out of this page here and now we're left with just our site right here and the back end over here next i'm going to go into the post section where we can start making some posts and we can see some posts that were imported here and how to edit them as well so let's dive into that section here next 